try to switch up the format a little bit because this is the third video I'm filming today. I got a lot of stuff. Today I'm off, so I'm trying to knock down everything that I possibly can in one day. Because you know what comes next, the editing, and I gotta get all these videos out. Gotta figure out how to how to get to this place. I didn't put in the address wrong, passed it twice, the whole nine. So I'm about to about to pull some illegal, you know what I mean? Some illegal maneuvers over here. I keep seeing signs that say no turn and stuff like that. Uh, if no one sees you make the turn, did you make the turn? You get what I'm saying? But what's up, everybody? Shout out to all my slow speeders. I hope you guys are keeping up because, uh, you know, I'm going to keep going. I ain't going to stop, baby. Please subscribe, comment, like this video. Emojis, comment anything you want. Today, I'm going to do something that I never really did on a 435. And the reason why I never did it on a 435 is because I figured, you know, uh, it'll make it look a little too hot boyish. I always tinted every sedan that I've ever had with exception of my Maxima. Both my Ultimas were tinted, both my Hondas, the Civic, and the Accord is tinted. Um, the Corolla I don't think had any tints. The Camry don't have any tints. Maybe I didn't tint everything. But today I'm gonna go ahead and hit to the tint shop and get these windows tinted. I called them up, let them know I was coming. I didn't make like 30 wrong turns. I hope he'll still take me so I can get some tint on these windows. I'm going with ceramic tint. You can see right now it's clear as day. My four series, like I said before, I never really mind uh, having no window tint on the coupe for some reason. It just looks too, too like ratchet in my opinion. I mean, it looks decent, don't get me wrong, but it's just not my style, you know. Uh, coupes are not really even my style. So I like coupes and I do see myself owning another coupe another day. But that would be a 911, uh, the G82 M4. Those are only really the coo only coupes I would own. I could see myself rocking like an EOS class coupe. Like that's like later on in life when I retire or something like that, you know. But as for now, I'm gonna stick to my sedans. I'm happy to be back in one, you know. This M340 is actually a little bit more roomy than you would think. Ooh, okay, my bad. Got a little sidetrack. You got a decent amount of room in this car. Uh, if you guys take a look, 6263, I fit comfortably. It's actually pretty shocking. Now, I do have the seat all the way back. Still able to fit a little nice. Still grab the wheel, push the wheel out a little bit. It's all about how you make it, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. I gotta figure out where it... Now, I gotta go back up that way. But it's all about how you make it, you know? I feel comfortable in this thing. The only thing is the door. You know, the door is a little short. So getting in and out of it, it'll make it easier and harder at the same time. This car is not on the ground like the 4 Series was, so it's a little easier to get out of, but at the same time, the door in the 4 Series made it easy for me to get out because I'm a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so far, I'm loving it. I'm loving the car. I'm gonna go with a ceramic tinting. I heard that's the top of the line, of the top of the line, and if you know, I'm doing this car right from the jump. You know, I don't wanna get the regular tint. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I'm not trying to get the regular tint, which I was like carbon-based. And then later on down the line, realize I want to upgrade to ceramic tint. I want to go straight for the ceramic tint. Got a good deal on it. I'm thinking about doing 20 on all the windows and maybe a 50 on the front windshield. I heard the ceramic tents are a hell of a lot better to see out of. So that's one of the main reasons that I'm going for it. Uh, now there are some drawbacks I've heard and I've also heard that they kind of corrected that being the cell phone reception. That's pretty much like an old like myth type of thing. It's like, if you get a quality ceramic tint, you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna be a test dummy. And I may actually go with like a 35 in the front windshield if I can see out of it pretty well. I've never been the type of guy to tint my front windshield to the point where it's difficult to see out of it. I know it looks cool from the outside, but let's be real guys. We are majority, 99% of the time, looking from the inside out so it's kind of stupid to do something to your car because it looks cool from the outside in the same thing with kind of like headlight tends to me it's kind of like counterintuitive you know you got hids or leds or whatever the case may be and then you go tint them and then tint the windshield and you can't see shit I don't know. I think it's pretty dumb, but nonetheless, we're on our way to the tent spot. When we get there, I'll flick you guys back on. I gotta see you in the tent spot.
you guys a little look. Oof. This car is very interesting. This car is real interesting. Little side note. The transmission is very, very aggressive on downshifts. Now, the downshifts are pretty damn good. But it's very aggressive downshifts. Upshifts is like, doesn't even feel like an upshift. It's very weird. It's daytime. The car kind of looks like it's nighttime, but you can see out clearly. See what I'm saying? Like, that's really, really, the way this car performs is really interesting, man. Looks like on camera you can see out a little more. It does look gloomy in here, and I can assure you that it's not as cloudy outside as it makes uh, in the car. But uh, this is the best, I guess, uh, idea and interpretation I can give you uh, visually. But if you want my review on it, I think this is the perfect setup. If your main goal is to block out the sun and then not necessarily hide that you're in the car but hide who you are in the car no one will ever be able to tell hey that's mike right now we're heading out to bear mountain me and my friend ryan so i'm gonna definitely give you guys that video pov driving the first pov drive of the m340 and the last pov drive of the m340 stock that's right this car is getting tuned a lot sooner than you think we're getting suspension upgrades all of that so I figured before, why not uh, come out here and give you guys some raw POV driving clips. Obviously, me running my mouth a little bit. But on the way, I close out this video and a spacer video. So you guys are going to see a whole bunch of different outfits in just one video. That's because they were different days. Nonetheless, I'll cue in to some nighttime clips as well. So, yeah, here it is in the daytime. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I recommend it. But check out what i gotta say hey guys, we're back and two things you could probably tell from this video one i listen to king von way too much and two the windows are tinted so it's nighttime i'm underneath the bridge with a little bit of light i'm gonna close the sunroof to give it a little bit darker appearance but i'm gonna show you guys hence look outside but before i get outside i'm gonna show you what it looks like a little bit inside now the camera isn't that much different so like what the camera picks up i would say it's a little bit brighter but not a hundred percent not like a drastic difference these are ceramic tints uh, one of the reasons i decided to go with a ceramic tint is because i heard they're a lot thicker they're more like scratch resistant uh they provide an extra layer of security when i say security i don't necessarily mean a guy trying to bash open the window but i mean in the event that something happens or i guess the glass cracks or whatever it kind of keeps the structure of it i've seen that on a lot of other tins too so i don't know what makes ceramics in a little bit different maybe it holds up a little better but uh, that was one of the selling factors uh, another thing is i don't have to go too dark in order for it to uh in order for it to be as effective now i'm not sure i don't have scientific proof behind all this stuff i'm just telling you guys the research that i did lead me to this decision right now for the ceramic tints one thing that I have noticed about the ceramic tint is that I can get a 20% tint, which I have on the windows. I got 20% and I have a 50 on the windshield. 50 is perfect to see out, and I'm pretty sure it'll be perfect for uh, the light coming in as far as heating up the dashboard and keeping the car very climate controlled. However, if you don't want anybody to see you, uh, these tints are are not it for you You probably go a little bit darker i would stick with maybe a five on the windows and a 35 on the windshield if you want to be completely pitch black that wasn't my goal i more so wanted to give it the car a nicer look without uh hindering my visibility outside and i think i've accomplished that uh with the 35 in the front windshield and the 20s all around ceramic tint will be a little bit lighter though i feel like if i would have went with this typical i guess carbon uh tint then the 20s would be a little bit darker and the windshield would be a little bit dark with the 50. So here you go guys, I'm gonna get out the car and show you guys the tint. Whew, this thing is beautiful guys. Just a quick update. I went ahead and coated the Alpina dash on here. I don't know, I kind of like the OEM factory one. It's nice because it's blue. When you change it to sport mode, you can see that these are green, which like I said before, kinda prefer the regular. Ah. Look at that, electronic sunshade, look at that, Woo! Nice. 
pages up. Here it is right here. So if you could tell, you can see inside the car, you know? It's not pitch, pitch black. If you really focus, you can see inside. Um, however, you know, from back here, I would say, you know, five to 10 feet you walking by, they can see that there's somebody in the car. They definitely won't be able to tell who it is. So that's one of the reasons why I got it, especially if you turn off the screens that kind of shine against your face. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell there's somebody in the car and who it is from the side. You know what I'm saying? With with as much light as in here, you know, the 20%, you can you can see in the car. You know what I mean? You can see in the car. Maybe in the daytime would be a better explanation. The back window. Kinda on the dark side. If many of you guys know, my main goal is not to hide from the world and not be seen. But I can't record me. I could be in and out. And it makes the car look a lot better. Just this tone, the tint, make the car look that much better. I don't know, I always like tinting my sedans, but not my coupes. So this isn't like mind-blowing illegal levels of tint, but I mean, it makes the car look so much better. Like I said, 20% ceramic tint on all the windows, and we got a 50 for the front windshield. Now, if I could go back and do it again, I may have went with a 35 on the windshield, depending on how it could have been. You know, I'll show you guys how it looks in the daytime, how good it does. Pardon all the traffic up ahead of me. This is yet just one more mod that's checked off on the box of the BMW M340. We got a lot more coming. We got some visual things, and we got some performance things. So stay tuned, stick around. Thank you for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. Mike from Soul Speed. Peace out.